let me tell you something that maybe no one else has the guts to say. If you're here, it's probably because you've been made a fool of, chasing after someone who doesn't give a damn about you. That's right, I'm talking about you. The guy who's let himself be tossed around, humiliating himself for scraps of attention. But enough of that, right? This video isn't for the weak. It's not for those who like to play the victim. Here, you're going to learn how to stand up, turn the tables, and most importantly, stop being the idiot who runs after someone who doesn't value you. If you're ready to hear some hard truths and give yourself a wake-up punch, then keep watching. If not, you might as well stop right here. Because from this point on, there's no turning back. It's going to be tough, it's going to be direct, and it's going to hurt. But in the end, you'll thank me. Or not, if you keep being the same fool as always. The choice is yours. Now that the week have left, let's begin. First step, decide and decide for real, without cowardice. Let's get straight to the point. No beating around the bush. If you really want to dismiss a woman, then do it with conviction. No acting on impulse and then wavering in your own indecision. If your decision is that she doesn't respect you, that she doesn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated, then that choice has to be firm, unshakable, with no room for silly regrets or lame excuses. There's no point in making a decision and then, at the first sign of loneliness or longing, running back to her like a dog that can't live without its owner. That's weakness, and weakness gets you nowhere. You know what's wrong with most men. They think they're being strong by cutting ties, but in reality, they're just avoiding a momentary confrontation with their own emotions. When loneliness hits, when that emptiness starts to gnaw at them, they crumble. All it takes is a simple high from her, and there they are, crawling back, as if that firm decision never existed. This kind of behavior is what makes you lose all respect, not just from her, but from yourself. The message you're sending is clear. You're weak, you're manipulatable, you have no control over your own emotions. And worse, you're giving her the power to keep playing with your life, to pull you in and push you away as she pleases. Ridiculous, isn't it? So before you take any steps, before you even think about dismissing someone, you need to stop and reflect deeply. What do you really want for your life? What role does this woman play in your plans? And more importantly, does she deserve that space in your life? Or is she just dragging you into an endless cycle of pain, suffering, and regret? If you conclude that she doesn't treat you right, that she doesn't value you, and that staying in this relationship will only bring more suffering, then there's no room for doubt. Stick to your decision as if your life depended on it, because in a way, it does. This means that no matter what happens, you won't go back. It doesn't matter if she texts, it doesn't matter if she shows up out of nowhere, it doesn't matter if loneliness tries to convince you otherwise. Your decision is final, irrevocable. Remember, this isn't just a decision for the moment. This is about taking back control of your life, about making it clear to yourself and to her that you won't be a puppet in anyone's hands anymore. It's not something temporary. It's not a game. It's about being the master of your own story, once and for all. If you can't be firm in this decision, then it's time to question how much you really value yourself. Because in the end, the only person who decides your worth is you, not her. And if you don't put yourself first now, no one else will do it for you. Second step, the gradual dismissal. The art of making her feel your absence. Let's make one thing clear. Dismissing a woman overnight, cutting all contact like you've hit a shut down button, is the perfect recipe for failure. And do you want to know why? Because most men who try this approach simply don't have enough self-control to sustain this facade for very long. They cut everything off at once, but when the emptiness starts to creep in, they go running back to her, apologizing, trying to fix what they themselves broke. And what happens then? They only manage to lower the little value they had in her eyes. It's pathetic to say the least. If you want the dismissal to really work, it needs to be done with finesse, with a careful strategy. The secret is to be gradual. You're not going to cut everything off at once, but instead, start distancing yourself little by little without making a scene. 
reduce contact subtly, almost imperceptibly. Respond to fewer messages. Take longer to call back. Show that your interest is naturally fading. It's not about cutting the woman out of your life all at once. It's about showing that you're tired, uninterested, that you no longer have patience for her games and manipulations. By acting this way, you're not only proving to yourself that you have self-control, but you're also putting the woman in an extremely uncomfortable position, uncertainty. She will start to wonder what's going on, why you're changing, why you're distancing yourself. And guess what? This uncertainty might make her rethink her actions, realize that she might have gone too far. Gradual dismissal is like a drop of water falling repeatedly on the same spot day after day. At first, it seems like nothing, but over time, it starts to create a crack, a small chink in her ego, until eventually, that crack becomes irreparable, and that's when the magic happens. When she realizes that the control she thought she had over you is gone, when she sees that she no longer has the power to manipulate you, that's the exact moment you win. Not because you cut everything off at once, but because you knew how to create a void, an absence that she cannot ignore. And this, my friend, is the kind of dismissal that really makes a difference. Not a sudden cut, but a gradual distancing that leaves her wondering where she lost control. Because in the end, that's what gradual dismissal does. It takes away her power and gives it back to you. Third step, the test of fire. Resist temptations and show your true strength. Now we've reached the critical point where many men stumble and fall into a trap like ducks. During this process of dismissal, you will be tested, and you can be sure of that. She will try to provoke you, seduce you back, mess with your emotions in every possible way. And this is where the separation of the strong from the weak really happens. Those who lack firmness, who lack self-control, end up going back to square one, begging for attention and destroying the entire strategy they had been trying to build up to that point. This is the moment when men of high value stand out, showing their true strength of character. Resisting temptations is absolutely crucial. Sure, you might still like her, and yes, it will be difficult. But here's the point. A man who knows his value doesn't settle for scraps. He doesn't lower himself, he doesn't chase, and he definitely doesn't allow himself to be manipulated by a mere whim. If you give in to temptation, if you reach out again, you're showing that you're still vulnerable, that you can still be controlled. And guess what? She'll notice that immediately. All your effort, all your dismissal strategy goes down the drain because you couldn't resist. You lose the battle because you couldn't stand firm when you needed to the most. Dismissal is only effective if you maintain your posture, even when she plays hard. If she tries to get your attention, ignoring her is the most powerful response you can give. If she tries to provoke you, make you jealous, post subliminal messages on social media, simply don't react. No checking on what she's doing or who she's hanging out with. The more silent you remain, the more you show that nothing she does affects you, the more control you have over the situation. And believe me, this will mess with her. She will realize that her actions no longer have the same effect, that the power she once had over you has evaporated. The thing is, the more you ignore, the more you resist, the more you show your true value. It's not easy, but that's how you play this game. Temptation might be strong, but your strength has to be stronger. When she sees that nothing she does shakes you, that her provocations are useless, she'll begin to understand that you're no longer the same manipulatable person you once were. And that's when you stand out as a true man, someone who doesn't get shaken, who knows what he wants, and who won't settle for scraps of attention. If you want to learn how to use psychological tricks to get into that woman's mind and make her act the way you expect, seeking you out and thinking only of you, read the ebook in the description of this video. After this raid, you'll learn how to use your cold side to deeply affect this woman and master the art of seduction. Stop being a doormat and start being the man she truly values. Fourth step, shift your focus. Leave her behind and take care of the most important thing, yourself. Now, 
If you really want to maintain the dismissal and not fall into the emotional traps she might try to set, it's time to shift your focus. And when I say shift your focus, I mean completely remove your mind and energy from that woman who didn't value you. Because let's face it, if you keep fixating on her, obsessed with every move she makes, the dismissal will never truly work. You'll stay stuck in that vicious cycle of wanting to know what she's doing, who she's with, and that will only pull you back to where you started. And honestly, you deserve more than that. The solution? Invest in yourself with everything you've got. Your self-esteem probably took a nosedive during that relationship. And now is the time to rebuild it. To reclaim yourself. Find something that makes you feel alive again. It could be a new hobby, hitting the gym to shape your body the way you've always wanted, or starting to eat better and seeing positive changes in the mirror. Meet new people, broaden your horizons, explore new interests. Each of these actions will help you emotionally distance yourself from that woman, and more importantly, will show you that the problem was never you, but rather the toxic dynamic you were trapped in. The more you take care of yourself, the easier it will be to maintain the dismissal. And over time, you'll realize that this was undoubtedly the best decision of your life. Because look, life is much bigger than any person who doesn't value you. You'll feel stronger, more confident in yourself, and eventually, you'll see that she wasn't as essential to your happiness as you once thought. When you shift your focus to your personal growth, to your evolution, the negative impact that woman had on you starts to fade away, like a weight being lifted off your shoulders. And here's the big secret. When you're focused on evolving, on growing as a person, nothing else matters. Not her, not the provocations, not the temptations, because you finally understand that the most important person in your life is you. And once you embrace that, the power she had over you dissipates. Shift your focus, take care of yourself, and see how dismissal becomes natural, almost effortless. After all, what could be more important than your own well-being? Fifth step, break the chains of limiting beliefs. She's not the only one. We've reached the most important step of all, freeing yourself from the beliefs that keep you tied to her. If there's one thing that destroys a man's self-esteem and traps him in an emotional snare, it's the belief that a particular woman is the one for him. The idea that you can't live without her, that she's your soulmate, that if you lose her, you'll never find anyone like her again. My friend, that's one of the biggest lies you can tell yourself. This mindset is like a heavy anchor that keeps you trapped in a cycle of emotional dependence. You convince yourself that you need to do everything, absolutely everything, to keep this woman by your side, even if it means swallowing disrespect, mistreatment, and losing your dignity. And that's where the danger lies. When you cling to this toxic belief, you put yourself in a position of inferiority, where the fear of losing someone outweighs your respect for yourself. The first thing you need to understand is that this mindset is completely false. You know that story of a soulmate or destiny? Forget it. That's Hollywood movie talk, fairy tale stuff. In real life, people often stay together out of convenience, fear of being alone, or because they've grown accustomed to the routine. But that doesn't mean the relationship is healthy, let alone happy. So, it's time to let go of this illusion. Stop believing that this woman is the only one who can make you happy. If she doesn't respect you, if she doesn't value you, then she is far from being the right woman for you. The world is vast, full of possibilities, and people who could, yes, bring happiness and growth into your life. But as long as you stay trapped in the idea that she's the only one, you're closing the doors to these new opportunities. Free yourself from this limiting belief. By doing so, you open yourself up to the new, the unexpected, to people who genuinely value you and share the same life goals as you. Believe me, the only person you really need in your life is yourself. The rest, including that woman you put on a pedestal, is optional. And once you understand that, the power she had over you disappears, and you finally become free to truly live. Sixth step, dismissal is not synonymous with rudeness. Keep it classy. 
Now, let's clarify a fundamental point. Dismissal is not the same as being rude or ill-mannered. If you think dismissing a woman means treating her badly or being disrespectful, then you've missed the point. True dismissal is about indifference. It's about not giving her any more room to play with your emotions. It's about being cold when necessary without becoming a jerk in the process. The last thing you want is to show that you're so affected that you need to resort to rudeness to defend yourself. That only shows that deep down she still has a huge hold on you. The secret is simple. Be polite, but distant. Reply to messages, but do it on your terms when it's convenient for you, not for her. Show that you have other priorities, that your life no longer revolves around her. But do it with class, with courtesy. When you behave rudely, you're giving her exactly what she wants. A reason to keep treating you poorly, to justify her own mistakes. And worse, you're showing that you're still emotionally tied to her, that she can still unbalance you. A man of high value understands that maintaining calm and dignity is essential. He doesn't let himself be driven by negative emotions or impulses for revenge. When you dismiss someone, the goal is not to hurt or humiliate. It's to show that you no longer need that person to be happy, that you're strong, self-sufficient, and that nothing they do can affect you. Remember, effective dismissal is accompanied by dignified behavior. Don't lower yourself to her level. Don't show that you're hurt or resentful. Instead, show that you're above it, that your actions aren't driven by rancor, but by the conscious decision to move on. When you act this way, you not only regain control of your life, but also demonstrate that nothing can shake your inner peace. And that, my friend, is true power. Seventh step, reinvent yourself and redefine your priorities. Now that you've gone through the steps of dismissal and are regaining control of your life, it's time to take it a step further. Reinvent yourself. It's not enough to just emotionally distance yourself from that woman. You need to use this experience as a springboard to redefine your priorities and become an even better version of yourself. Reinventing yourself means looking at your life and identifying areas that need attention that were neglected while you were trapped in that relationship. It could be your career, your friendships, your health, or even your dreams and personal goals. When you start investing in yourself fully, not just as a defense mechanism, but as a true journey of self-discovery, you elevate yourself to a new level. Reflect on what truly matters to you. Maybe you let yourself get carried away by her needs and desires, forgetting your own. Now is the time to put your priorities first. Want to start a new project? Travel to a place you've always wanted to visit? Or even learn a new skill? Do it! When you reinvent yourself, you don't just fill the void left by her absence. You create a new version of yourself, stronger, wiser, and much more aware of your own worth. Moreover, redefine your expectations and standards for future relationships. With this experience, you now know what you won't tolerate anymore and what values and characteristics truly matter to you in a partner. Use this opportunity to set a new standard of quality, both for yourself and for the people you'll allow into your life from now on. Reinventing yourself is the final step that seals the whole process. It's not just about distancing yourself from a toxic relationship. It's about growing, evolving, and emerging stronger than ever. When you commit to this transformation, there's no room for regrets because you'll be too busy living life at your best potential. And then, my friend, you become untouchable. Eighth step. Become the man who never depended on anyone. Now, to close with a golden key, let's get to the final blow, the punch in the gut, what really separates the men from the boys. You need to become the man who never, ever depended on anyone to feel complete. You know that feeling of emptiness, of lacking, of thinking you need someone by your side to feel whole. Throw that away. That thought is the biggest enemy you can have. Because in the end, true freedom, true strength, doesn't come from having someone by your side, but from knowing that you don't need anyone to live life to the fullest. You have to be self-sufficient. 
You have to be the kind of man who walks into any room and exudes confidence, who doesn't need a woman's validation or anyone else's to know his worth. When you reach that level, when you truly understand that you're the only one responsible for your happiness, for your success, for your peace of mind, that's when, my friend, you become invincible. And here's the epic part. When you become that man, the people around you notice. They feel the change. And you know what happens? That woman who once thought she could manipulate you, who could play with your feelings, will realize she lost. She will realize that the power she had over you no longer exists. That you've elevated yourself to a level she could never reach. And that, that is the ultimate victory. Not because you dismissed her, but because you became so strong, so complete, that dismissal became unnecessary. You don't need to dismiss her because, deep down, you've already overcome her. She is nothing more than a memory from the past. A shadow that no longer has any impact on your life. And that, my friend, is the pinnacle of personal evolution. It's not about defeating someone else. It's about defeating yourself. Destroying the insecurities, the fears, the emotional dependencies that kept you trapped. When you become that man, you don't just close the cycle. You open the door to a life where you're the true protagonist, the master of your destiny. And at that moment, there's nothing that can hold you back, nothing that can make you go back to where you once were. You've transcended, and that's the most powerful victory you can achieve. Congratulations. Now go out there and live like the man you were born to be. You've just completed a journey that isn't for everyone. Each step we took together was a challenge, a provocation, an invitation to become something much greater than you were before. Dismissing someone who doesn't value you is not just a matter of pride or revenge. It's an act of self-love, of reclaiming your dignity. And by following these steps, you not only regain control of your life, but you redefine your worth. But remember, this transformation is just the beginning. Now that you've learned to distance yourself, to resist, to reinvent yourself, and finally to become a man who doesn't depend on anyone, the world is yours to conquer. The strength you've built here has prepared you to face any challenge that comes your way with the certainty that no one, absolutely no one, has the power to bring you down. So, my friend, that's it. Now the choice is yours. Continue in mediocrity or rise as the man you were always meant to be. If this video helped you in any way, share it with someone who needs to hear this message. And if you want to continue on this journey of transformation, subscribe to the channel and join this community. Together we go further. Remember, the power is within you. Use it.